Hi, y'all. I've been experimenting with Ziploc bags to see if you can use them with your sealer. And yes, you can modify. Okay, the only reason why I used a, a, my food saver bag was because I'd already cut it. It was a gallon, and I had something else in it and I, that I had processed. And I didn't want to waste the bag because once you cut them... Um, uh, you can't put a gallon measurement in there again. But this is an experiment. I hadn't done it before. But this is just regular old Dollar Tree bags. These uh, gallon uh, Sure Fresh. Now I'm going to try cutting this off and see if I can vacuum seal it. Okay, I'm going to cut this off and see if it'll work. If it don't, you can just lock the bag because it's temporary. But I'm just, this is just, what's going on? This is just a test to see if it can be done. And to get a straight line, I'm going to seal it. And cut it across there. It's Okay, these ants. Can y'all see the ants? They like my honey. Of course, they can't get in. But, you know, I, I do wipe this down, but they still smell it, I guess. And uh, crawl all over it. So I'm going to wash some little piss ants off. And then we're going to put it in here. Now, I wish I had a plastic can, but I don't have one tall enough. And that, that one will fit. So, until I get me a plastic container that tall, it's going to go in there. Keep the ants off my honey. Okay, it fit perfect in there. And look, the ant's already trying to find it. Now, he can't get in that can. But I put a paper towel in there. Anyway. So... I'm going to stick this can over here on this mat. That way it won't rust. Now, what I was going to try to do over here, you know, this is going to stay messy until winter when I can't can anymore. <laughs> I might still be dry canning or something, though, but uh, this, is going to, this is going to stay messy. Uh, let me put this back on my tripod. I've never done this before. Okay, so, so far my conclusion is now and then it'll work, but more, more likely to fail. I think this plastic is like more breathable. And so I want to, you know, and I couldn't even after I seamed all the sides around and this name brand Ziploc, it still didn't work, and then this is the Dollar Tree, the Sure something brand. It didn't work either, <clears throat> and so it's. I guess it's not the right kind of plastic. Now I may discover something cheaper, and you know something that we can do this. But in my opinion, it's an epic fail to try to use Ziploc bags. Uh, now, we're going to eat these pretty soon, and I, I put them in other baggies, so so I'm not worried about this long term. We'll eat these up pretty quick. It's okay. But for one thing that it's good for is if you've ever stored some meat together and you're going to eat it pretty quick, and you was to open up the Ziploc, if you was to open up one of these these bags and uh, you know how the top will tear off and then you can't reseal it well your machine would be good for that you could just cut off the band part and seal it back up so it was a very disappointment to me to learn that uh, 
but you know it's not worth running your food over so I just wanted to see now for temporary sealing it's it, it's okay just not long term to save your meat but you can use your food sealer for a lot of different things okay that's my conclusion uh, they will not work bye y'all